Welcome back to the Talos Principle. There's one more puzzle to do in this place. Crisscross Conundrum Advanced. So I was scratching my head about this one before, but I was just looking at it right now, and I think I know what to do. I have an idea. Yeah, so let's try this. Instead of having the red power kind of go across the blue power, like this, Instead of that, I'm going to try routing the red power all the way behind here and around on the right side. And I think that should do it. Just need to do that using my recording, of course. So, let's put this here. And yeah, that should do it, actually. Just uh, fast forward for a bit. <laughs> oh. Right, I need to actually get back in there to stop the recording. Alright, let's give it a bit more time. That should do it. And done. The next level of the tower. Which means, unfortunately, another one of those block puzzles. Oh dear god. The fast forward can't help me with that. See anything back here? Well, that would get me out of bounds. Actually, have I gone out of bounds before? In this level? I don't think I have. Alright, so where would be best to do that? I think maybe. maybe in here. Yeah, let's do it here. This one should be very easy. We just do that. And that. I love this fast forward. You know what, I might as well take a box with me, just in case I need it. Wait, can I? Oh, I don't think I can reach him. Nah, I can't, never mind. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Well, shit. That border is very unforgiving. I guess there's no point in even going out there if it's just that close. Then there's probably gonna be nothing out there. Alright, well that's it for this place, except for any potential 
Easter eggs, of which I've only found one, the snowman. There might be more, so I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I can find any. Well, I can't find any more Easter eggs, and I feel like the one that I did find might be it, because this place feels kind of bare bones, to be honest. There's really not that much out here. Just super high lumber walls. Let's go back to the tower. And so it is done. Hmm. You have overcome each trial that I set before you. You have shown faith and wisdom and perseverance. Therefore, I judge you worthy, and I say unto you, come to the gates of eternity, where you shall be granted everlasting life. this fast forward it is so amazing the only way fast forward could be even more amazing is if I used it during this puzzle it would solve it for me let's try it it doesn't work no Alright, I'm going to give myself one minute to solve this without fast-forwarding. And if I can't do that, I'm going to punch my screen and blow up my computer. Sure, perfect. What could go wrong? This is exactly how it's supposed to be done. This is never going to work, is it? No. Alright, let's put it to one side. Actually, is not working out too bad. Hmm, this is not going to work, though. Okay, okay. Oh, holy crap! Oh my god. I'm just going to give myself a pat on the back for that one. Yeah. By pat on the back, I mean slap. That actually kind of hurt. Ow. It's okay. The skin on your back is really tough, though. It's fine. Oh my. <gasps> That's the auxiliary staircase! It doesn't reach down. It doesn't reach down to the lower levels. And this looks like ash. I'm pretty much inside of that cloud of chaos. I, uh, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. I, I think this, uh, this is it. Um, the end of uh, me. I, I don't believe that I will continue to exist I I would like to, to think that there is a, a soul or spirit some part of my consciousness that will persist uh, oh, but all uh, all the evidence says that when my brain dies I will be gone I've lived my life never turning away from the truth, even if it scares me. And I can face this, face my own end, 
and and say with absolute conviction that it was good to be human. I hope I can say the same thing when I die. Come on. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Mm, nope. What the hell? Whoops. Thing just popped up and minimized the game. There we go. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this is possible. It seems like you're going to hit the like rounded snow and it's going to bounce you off. No matter what. Unless I could just hit the lip. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure it's possible if you could just hit the lip. But actually doing that would be very difficult. Maybe if I can, like, do it from an angle and kind of go in like this. Ooh, ooh, actually, perfect. Oh, son of a bitch! <gasps> so close! That's not gonna work. Okay, I tried, like, 30 times to get it, and I can't. It's probably possible, but it's really finicky. So, forget it. Fortis Fortuna... something. I'm assuming that's Latin. Fortis Fortuna... Uh, you know what, I'm actually just gonna alt-tab out and just look at... Look at what that is right now. Fortis Fortuna. Let's see. It apparently literally means the strong one, fortune helps. It's from Terence's comedy play Formio. Whatever that is. So I guess it's from a play, and it means whoever is the strong one, fortune will help? Hmm? Interesting. Also, I hear... Doves? Pigeons? Well, this might allow me to jump there.
what are these? Are these like pigeon boxes or something? They're like little cubby holds. Hmm. Okay, where could I go with this? I could jump there. I could jump there. Could jump straight down. It's hard to tell where everything is, because I have like no depth perception from this distance. Everything's just kind of flat. Alright, let's go straight down. Okay, that's not straight. I just fell like right here. Is this telling me I should fall right here? Whoa, that was weird. I knew it! I I think it like put me on the track of a script or something. Because I fell from there. Okay, what the hell is this? <gasps> I'm missing two stars, remember? There's one of the two stars and I'm missing. Holy crap. I thought this would be an Easter egg, not something so integral. Ah, it's in a room that I've already been into. I never even, holy crap, I never even noticed that there was a star here. Does that mean the other star is also hidden in one of these, one of these rooms? And remember, I need the, I need the last star to be able to get the last part of the password to the very top floor of the tower. I thought it seemed like it was suggestive of where I should go. That little thing sticking off, saying jump, jump from here. Alright, let me try to get somewhere else. I'm gonna bounce off again. Oh no, I'm fine. I actually jumped like right when I hit the ground. I wonder if that maybe cancelled out my movement. Or if that was just a coincidence. Hmm, there's nothing here, is there? Nope. Completely empty. Okay, one more attempt. Is there anywhere else I can actually reach? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay, I think I'm good with that jump. So I've got to be on the lookout for any stars inside of these places. Multiple floors. This is turned on by that button. How do I get in there? I think I need to go up first. If I let this thing out, it's going to ex explode in my face. But I could always do this.
Now, if I go up there, I'm going to be exploded as well. So I need to jam the minigun, but how do I do that? Because I can't bring it up the ladder, can I? Nope. I could maybe sit it on top of the box at the base of the ladder. Maybe I'd be able to reach down to grab it. Maybe I need to blow the mine up there so that it explodes. Explodes on the minigun. But again, how do I access that switch? I need to go up to the next level anyway. Right? Okay, well, let's just try going up and see what happens. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's very short range. Oh god. Yeah, so I think this is designed to blow the mine into the minigun. I can make a recording, but why? Alright, let me try this and see if I can grab it. I guess for now, the only thing I can do is just keep this open. Fast forward. Oh, I can't even fit on in on the side, can I? Shit. Stop. I was gonna keep going because the recording had it. Shit. I need to get my stuff up here. I can't get past her without the jammer or blowing it up. So I need to get either the mine up here or the jammer. One of those two. The very aggressive fan. Oh, almost made it inside. How did I do that? You know what, maybe I can blow myself past... No, there's no way. I was thinking I could blow myself... ...past it? But no, you're gonna instantly die, won't you? Yeah. How in the hell do I power you? Oh, wait a minute, I can just grab the fan from there. There we go, solved it. Part of it, anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got a little bit too eager there. Let's do this first. And we pop into here, and we stand on that, and we take you... Wait, what? I can't reach you? Are you serious? 
It's right there! I guess that's where the recording comes in handy? Or does it come in handy? Does the recording actually come in handy here? I don't think it does. Well, let's get you back in there. Yeah, have fun in there. I can't believe you actually can't reach that. Well, I could just jam it. Problem solved. So that's to get out of there, and it's covered by mesh so that you can't take the fan, so you're not intended to do anything with that other than use it to get out of here. Gotcha. And... So I need to free the mine. How in the hell do you do this? This is actually kind of complex. I need this thing to be on a timer, right? Because I'm going to be kind of stuck in here. And I need this fan to actually be working. I need it to be not working initially so I can actually get in there, and then I need it to start working because I need to get, I need to get this mine to go up there and go over. So I'm going to need this thing to be on a timer, which I can do using my recording. I'm going to need the force field to be open. What the hell's the box for? So that needs to be open. That's working. This needs a fan blade. How in the fuck? I mean, it can be done, it's just really complicated. There's a lot of steps to this. I don't even know where to start. I have to use my recording, and I need to utilize its extra fans and extra stuff. And I still don't know what the hell the damn box is for. It's got to be important or I wouldn't be here. Um. Oh, in fact, wait a minute. This might actually help things a lot. Can I blow it up and over? I can, but I'm not sure if I can go and grab it. No, I should be able to. Thirty seconds should be fine. But no, I need to leave this down. With what? What do I weigh it down with? Uh, sure. Okay, we have gained a box. That's cool. Rad. Now to get it through here.
Okay, so now the box is here. Now I could have taken the... Wait a minute, can't you take the jammer up here? Because I could have put the jammer on top of the box, right? Which means I could have disabled that. But if I could blow it up with the mine, then that would be better, because it means I could take the jammer through there. And I probably need to take the jammer with me past the turret. So yeah, let's keep going with the mine thing. Uh, I don't even... I, d I don't even know. I need two fans. I can get one here using my recording, but where do I get the other one? Well, that would work. Okay, so using my recording, I can... Grab this one. Okay, so as soon as I stop the recording, everything's going to be blowing. So as soon as I stop the recording, the only things I actually have to do is... Well, I've got to do a bunch of things. I have to take that jammer off, I have to step on that, and I have to let the mine out. Letting the mine out is no problem, just step on a button for a couple seconds. Get rid of the jammer. And... Actually, yeah, I think I, I think I pretty much have it. I think I'm good, and I just need to stop the recording. Right? In fact, just to make things simpler, I guess I might as well just do this. All right, let's just assume it's going to take me a really long time to do everything I just mentioned. So let's just fast forward into like two minutes. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ba dum, bum, bum. Alright, that should be good. So, again, when I stop recording, what I need to do is take off the jammer and let the mine through, and I think that's it. Yeah, that should be it. Oh god, I almost just got blown up. Holy shit. Oh, you know what? I actually should not be down here. Oh. Because the mine might explode in my face. Um. Oh, fuck! I had everything but the jammer! I needed to undo the jammer while recording. Oh. Can I jam the jammer? You can't jam the jammer. Alright, get back inside. It's okay, I, I don't think there's much setup work. Alright, stop. Do it again. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Now I need to unjam it, right? Hmm? Just do whatever with that, doesn't matter. Then I stand on this. Give it until about 120. Now when I stop recording, I just need to take off the jammer, and that's it. And wait for the explosion. 
because I'll fast forward for a minute. What? Uh. The fuck just happened? Wait a minute. Did the mine just hit my recording? You've got to be kidding me. You're kidding me, right? The mine just hit my recording and blew up. It can't tell the difference between the real me and the fake me. I had... I had no way of knowing that was going to happen. I guess I just have to... <laughs> I guess I just have to wait to let the mine out. Jeez. Now I have to reset this whole thing. Fuck! Alright, <laughs> let me set this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I think everything is set up the way it was before. Let's try this again. So we're gonna take this fan and we're gonna put it here and then we're go- oh, no! And then we're gonna take this fan and we're gonna put it here. That's all good. Got some great blowjobs going on. Then... Then I have to take this off. Put it wherever, doesn't matter. And then I need to go stand on this. Right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna stand here for a very long time. And once I'm done recording, I'm not gonna let the mine out right away or it's gonna blow up. I want it to blow up, but not on my my copy. Okay. That should be fine. And the only thing I have to do... Let's go take this away. And just wait. Wait for my copy to uh, get on the button and then should be good to go. Speed it up a bit. Okay, here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going. Yes! Hell yeah! Good job, me. I'm gonna give myself a high five. I can't do that, can I? There we go, good enough. Perfect. Come on, it's highlighting. Grab it. Eh. Eh. There we go. You know, I'm probably gonna need... Yeah, I'm gonna need stuff up here. There's a high potential for secrets around here. Okay, so I need... I need the jammer up here, absolutely. No doubt about that one. I'm also gonna need to get my recording up there. Because I think I'm gonna need two jammers. Yeah. 
So how can I get the jammer up there? I believe I need to use the box itself. Oh right, so I need to go jam that from down below. Yeah, this, sh this should be good. Hmm. Something feels wrong, but... No, I think it'll be fine. Now the issue is getting past there. Which means... Need to record myself and then jam it. Only for a little bit though. Got 20 seconds, should do it. Wait. No, 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 I actually need to leave it jammed. And then go step on this. There we go. I should do it. Yeah. Should be able to just wait here. <laughs> There we go. How do I get the jammer up there? I mean, I could do this. But then how do I get up there? Oh. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, so we have a box and a jammer, which I can multiply using my recording. Which is cool. Don't actually think I need to do anything here, do I? No, that, that should be it. Yeah, there we go. This is strange, though. Normally there's just a computer waiting for you, but this time there isn't. Oh, it takes me to the stairs. done. 
Why have you ascended the tower? Why have you betrayed my faith in you? Because I don't trust you. It's really that simple. What is up there? Does that take me to floor 6? If it does, then what's the point of getting the password to floor 6? Hmm. And I'm still missing a star. Okay, well, before this episode gets too long, I think I'm going to end it here. I really want to know what's up there, but gotta wait, gotta be patient. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.